Massachusetts Massey Performing Arts Center. Make a note of the fire exits clearly marked at the front and rear of the concert hall. As a courtesy to performers and audience members, at this time, please turn off and place in a bag or pocket all cell phones, laptops, iPads, and other electronic devices. Texting and the use of flash photography are strictly forbidden during the concert. Please sit back and enjoy the performance. And thank you for visiting Belmont University. Now, almost all of which were on the album, which is pretty awesome. That one joined me again. We're 
we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna play some guitar. I know it's a trombone recital, so don't get angry, but let's do it. This one's called G.
we're picking it up a little bit. This one's called B flat. You heard Cole Clark on the end of that solo just now. Stefan Weir is going to play some melody for us. It's tasty. Switch over your guitar and take a drink. This is uh, Rachel's Cup, Team Jenny's.
The album, the names, the weirdness, all culminating in this. We just heard G and B flat. You heard Monk Stream at the top and that only taking the melody. Sounded great. Uh, this whole sort of process started about a year and a half ago, writing a bunch of tunes. Every morning, just waking up, writing some more and more. And I found these different bits and pieces, put them together, came up with these seven final full tunes, which is kind of crazy now. Um, but the purpose of them was taking some jazz, idiosyncratic features, some different jazz harmony things and whatnot, but packaging it in a way that the common music listener can enjoy and it's not as intimidating and all of this. So we're featuring some soloists, we're going through some jazz harmony, but at the same time, I hope you can dance a little and enjoy it. Um, but this next tune is called F. I guess we'll talk about the key names later. It's kind of funky, but yeah, I'm gonna play some electric this time.
Thank you, guys. That one was called uh, A Flop. So these uh, key names. I started naming these tunes as I was writing them, different inspirations and things. But everything felt so cheesy. It was, I mean, I think part of it was just like maybe a little bit of laziness. I didn't want to write names and all that and commit to something. But at the same time, I felt like every name I put gave it a different connotation. And especially as instrumental music, I think it's a cool opportunity for the different listeners to put in their own vision behind it. In the first day so far that's been released, I've had so many different people say different scenes that they'd imagine being. My mom always says this next tune, imagine, uh, she imagines The Incredibles playing. So maybe you can imagine that, maybe you have your own thing going on. But it gives you an opportunity to sort of come in with a fresh mind, and they all happen to be in different keys, and when we were rehearsing it, it was really easy to call them out that way, so that's the real reason, I guess. <clears throat> but that one was A flop. Featured a ton of different awesome pe people. We have Ian back there on drums doing awesome stuff. Chase over here doubling on bone and keys. Let me look at him. <laughs> With that being said, let's go on to the Incredibles one. A hey, Mike.
on the record, which you can purchase tonight after the show, donation, whatever you want. I played this intro on acoustic, but I kept being too lazy to bring the acoustic to rehearsal, so I played it on electric, and we thought about taking a crowd vote on whether I should do acoustic or electric for this intro. But I'm not gonna do that either. But, look at all these turtlenecks up here, right? I think I see some turtlenecks out there too. The real fans. Turtlenecks everywhere, everybody. All right, a brief story. Way back a couple, I don't know, maybe two winters ago, maybe just a winter ago, who knows? My friend Mason Pullman and I really wanted some turtlenecks. And our friends put together this party that we didn't know about where we all wore turtlenecks and he still didn't have his. And he showed up and he was the only one without a turtleneck. And that's how it became a running joke in our friend group. And then now it's just kind of become my fashion statement, I guess. And look at these beautiful people up here. Also, Andrew Bannon tucked away in the corner over there on bongos and whatnot. Some shakers, some things. Love it. Enough of me, I'm gonna do a little intro.
Uh, this one's the only uh, cover on the record, if you will. It's an old French piano piece. You can read any program notes and not talk too long about it. But uh, Eric Satie, cool dude, weird dude. I like to be weird too, so I thought I'd do a little tribute to him and Funkify his tune. Um, I, this a beginning intro thing on acoustic guitar is his arrangement for his for piano. So I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna Funkify it.
That's the end of the album. Isn't that great? I had never timed this recital, um, and we have four minutes left for what I hope is a four minute tune. This is crazy, it worked out. Uh, but this next tune, not mine, it's Volpex, who I think is doing a great job of what I'm kind of trying to do on this album, of taking this jazz weird culture thing and make it a little bit more approachable. They just sold out Madison Square Garden by themselves. My friends and I flew out there and drove back in one weekend just to catch them. 14,000 people singing a bass line, that's insane. So a little homage. Homage? 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 Feels fancy. Um, anyway, this is a little homage to them by just covering their tune, Corey Wong. Um, but before I do, I also want to shout out some people in the audience. We have so many people who have influenced me, mentors, professors, past educators. I mean, it is insane the amount that I've felt myself sort of grow as a musician and a person over these four years, however cheesy that is. But uh, there's a lot of people, friends, family, church family from back home. Shout out to them who came down. Uh, I mean, just insane amount of people. Adam McPhail, director of my honors project that this is a part of too, he's out there. Play with Corey Wong, that's next. But anyway, that's my segue. Thank you guys for all that you've done in supporting me. Don't forget you can buy that album you just heard. <laughs> right outside of there, find Rachel Rose Ryan, Triple R. She's gonna have them, a little donation bucket, pay whatever you want. And we're gonna play one tune to feature everybody in the band.
well.
That was the man I appreciate all of you so much. Finally out by the door. Thank you guys. Whoa.